this presentation today. I will talk today about sleep disorders and quality chronic disease and imbalances patients. Sleep is a vital and necessary function. Sleep needs must be met by hunger and thirst. Numerous physiological processes are disturbed in our CTD patients and imbalances patients with significant symptoms. We all attempt to correct the need to maintain calcium and phosphate balance, restore vitamin D, and try to maintain salt and water balance and improve quality of life. But one important aspect of physiology that is frequently ignored and can have a significant impact on quality of life and overall mortality is sleep. General health depends on sleep quality as lack of sleep is related to hypertension, cardiovascular events, strokes, psychological health, stress, mood, and socialization, body pain and back pain, depressive symptoms, and it's really uh, coordinated with all those more that. There are two types of sleep, non-rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep. In rapid eye movement sleep, the electroencephalogram is desynchronized and muscles are atonic. In non-rapid sleep, it's supported in the EEG or shows a synchronized pattern and the sleep state is associated with low muscle tone and minimal mental activity. So there's a cycle of sleep at the start, awake, then followed by non-rapid sleep through four stages, then alternating REM non REM sleep. This is a normal circadian typical cycle sleep cycle. Sleep, uh, in REM sleep and in non REM sleep, sorry. Sleep non REM sleep and REM sleep is, uh, is not uh, constant all over uh, the age or the years of living. Uh, at the start, REM sleep is, is more than uh, at the end of the injury people. As an epidemiology process, sleep disorders in CKD and hemodialysis patients subject to sleep complaint are reported up in more than 50% of patients when dialysis patients with a sleep disorder with studied objectively. Sleep repertory 53 to 75% were found to have sleep disorder, which is higher than the general population of 4%. The elderly is more having uh, sleep disorder than the young, male patients more than females, for easier more than African patients. Some, uh, some sort of sleep disorder, like insomnia, in, in, the, in the normal population is 4 to 25% in the in the U.S. population, 15 to 70 percent, sleep apnea syndrome, 20 to 70 percent, stressless leg syndrome, 15 to 80 percent in the U.S. population. One study showed that little studies that were done about the U.S. in the CKD population, stages from one to four. Most of the studies were done to CKD stage five, pre-dialysis and dialysis. This one study shows that quality of sleep in chronic deaths, chronic kidney disease patient involved 120 patients and showed that in CTD stage 2, there was uh, two, two patients had a sleep disorder, about 15 patients in CTD stage 3, 60, 66 patients uh, with uh, chronic kidney disease stage 4, and 34 patients with CTD stage 5. In all, Biochemical data and uh, <coughs> clinical data that only depression was associated with a sleep disorder in CT stage, stage, uh, stages. Uh, when we compared the creatinine clearance in this study, there was no significant difference regarding the sleep quality or sleep duration or latency as regarding the creatinine clearance. Group 1 was creatinine clearance above 20, above 17, and group 2, below 17. Another study was done in 2005 of polysomnographic measures of nocturnal sleep in patients of chronic intermittent daytime hemodialysis versus those with chronic kidney disease. And it showed that all the hemodialysis patients have, and the chronic kidney disease patients have sleep disorders. But in general sleep architecture and total sleep time, was, was much uh, lower in the group than the hemodialysis group in non-rem sleep and 
Alzheimer's gives the most significant difference between the chronic kidney disease and the implants. Patients on daytime implants and patients with chronic kidney disease have reduced total sleep time and reduced sleep efficiency in comparison with his subjects. Patients on implants have had less REM sleep, less total sleep time, increased wake time after sleep, onset, lower sleep efficiency, and a higher periodic limb movement index, and longer sleep onset latencies in comparison to those with CTD. <coughs> These results suggest that the sleep problem in patients with CTD and those receiving chronic intermittent daytime imbalances may have different etiologies, functional and psychological factors, which may play a more prominent role in CTD group, while the intrinsic group sleep, intensive sleep disruption, secondly to the effect of chronic imbalances, may play a significant role in the imbalances group. This is another study in 2006 showed uh, between the chronic in, in chronic <coughs> and the chronic uh, <coughs> not in the analysis showed that uh, 53, 54 percent of patients uh, have sleep obstructed as a obstructive sleep apnea and all 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 the sleep obstructive apnea was correlated with urea, age and body mass index, but not with creatinine clearance. When they examined the non-diabetics, it was significant with the creatinine clearance and urea and also with a uh, body mass index. And this is an Egyptian study for the same. Uh, it was done and in 2015 and showed the same that the sleep disorder breathing was uh, correlated with uh, the creatinine clearance and the reductive nitrogen and Sleep apnea worsens the symptoms of CTD and hemolysis special such as daytime fatigue, sleepness, and impaired neurocognitive function. Hypoxemia during sleep is associated with melatonin hypertension, natural and regular hypertrophy. Impaired sympathetic vagal balance and increased risk of cardiovascular complications, including death. Sleep apnea exacerbates the infectious complication common in stage renal disease because sleep disruption uh, and inflammation degrade the immune functions. Severe sleep apnea is an independent predictor of graft loss among female kidney virus transplant patients. This is another study about the sleep quality, predictive quality of life, and mortality risk in immunodialysis patients that arises from the dialysis outcome and practice pattern study. It's a large study in the immunodialysis patient. This is a large study, it's the largest one. It involves more than 16,000 16, patients. The percentage of poor sleep was 49 percent to good sleepers 51 percent. All all of these are predictors of poor sleep quality, like black male smoker, brightest body mass index, more than 20, 30, more than 30 more uh, years on dialysis, gastrointestinal bleeding, lung diseases, and also with phosphate and and cancer phosphorus products more, more than 7, and cancer phosphorus products more than 80 is more, much related to sleep disorders. Medication used in the, in the hemodialysis patient also is related to sleep quality, like <laughs> antihistamines and antidepressants, anti-inflammatory narcotics, gastrointestinal medication, antihistamines, was all significantly related to sleep disorders quality.
ir zaķi vienu toksinēm, un jau mokā nodrīgi ir pārtā kaunko tā reikmenta preskupstīt apie, es savu būtu jūs tikko tādā korīšķi, un tīm dēļas ir tiešas jāstīt apie sekretī, es vēl esmu tīm to tādā bāļu ūtā ēnstīt apie. Lāk jau reāli tāda mērķa ir nebija signifikanti hājā pēšanā un konvenšanā tīm dēļas uz patoloģikai daytime sleeping, then the alert patient. In addition, sleep on the latency is negatively correlated with blood urease. Upper weight inclusion can be caused by fluid overload and interstitial edema in the upper airway. Displacement of fluids from the lower limb increases in neck circumference and pharyngeal resistance and reduces the upper airway uh, cross-sectional area, contributing to the pathogenesis of obstructive sleep apnea. Upper airway diet of muscle dysfunction may be neuropathy or myopathy associated with chronic uremia and both narrowing of the pharyngeal muscles. Also, sleep disorder breathing is associated with high systemic inflammation, which was shown in this study as there is a high significant uh, correlation between sleep disorders and the C-reactive protein and interleukin. Elevated levels of interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 and human necrosis factor as a result of pump and activation interaction with the dialyzer and or exposure to bacteria cell wall fragments. Interleukin 1 is involved in both fever production and sleep induction. Interleukin 1 and 6 and or TNF are thought to be recognized as a pyrogenic signal by specific centers within the central nervous system. Such signals induce the senses of prostate glands that represent the central mediators of the coordinated response which lead to a rising core body temperature. Body temperature also rises as a result of heat load in the dialysate plus because of the known association between body cooling and sleep concept, even dialysis associated with patient body temperature might activate cooling mechanisms that enhance daytime sleep or prevent sleep, particularly during the post-hemodialysis period. Chronic episodic elevation in body temperature is associated with hemodialysis might therefore alter the sleep propensity result. Dialysis also can induce imbalance of the brain and serum osmolality resulting in shift of water from the blood to brain, also paradoxical acidosis in the cerebral spinal fluid that result from the slow movement by carbonate across the blood brain barrier. These factors may lead to cerebral edema, which leads to depression of the CNS, as this depression causes an increase in alertness and drowsal, which may lead to daytime sleeping and can therefore result in an impaired sleep weakness. The effect of medication, several drugs are commonly prescribed to patients for dialysis and can adverse effect on sleep, such as insomnia, sedation. Among the antihypertensive drugs, beta adrenergic septal blockers have been associated with tiredness, insomnia, nightmares, vivid dreams, depression, and the confusion of psychomotor impairment. Beta blockers have been also associated with depression of nocturnal melatonin production. Benzodiazepine can be used for their sleep inducing effect, but these drugs increase total sleep time, reduce the sleep latency, and suppress the REM and slow wave sleep. Benzodiazepine also decreases the nocturnal melatonin production. <coughs> the effect of melatonin, the physiological factor promoting sleep in India, the nocturnal melatonin release are impaired in patient on hemodialysis. Data demonstrates that there is there is an inverse correlation between the stage of fetal disease and the amplitude of risk of melatonin release. As the GFR decreases, the melatonin production decreases. Decreased melatonin level are associated with more severe sleep disturbance in hemodialysis patients, and the, again, in the plasma of the patient, the number of beta-1 and beta-2 at the nervous receptor is significantly decreased. Shots of impairment is at in a energy function is associated with a decline in molecular level in patient with the immune insufficiency. Rest is like syndrome and periodic temp movement disorder was found to be associated with iron deficiency, threatening level, dysfunction of the neurological system and uremic toxicity. Sleep quality at quantity can be assessed by a sleep interview for the patient and that partner, sleep questionnaires with the famous one. It's a sleep questionnaire, fatigue severity score, scale of Stanford scale, and the best is the full time, full night, polysomnography, this is the gold standard, portable sleep screen devices and psychological assessment for depression and anxiety. 
and the horizontal graph will, be, will, will test for the blood oxygen level freezing event, a real sleep stage, whether it happens or not, what, what the number of waking, and it correlates all these data all together, <coughs> so it gives and what, it, what we call the apnea hypopnea index. It's a number of apnea, periods of apnea, multiplied by the hypopnea, plus the hypopnea, divided by the, the actual time of sleep, then multiplied by 60. It will be normal if less than 5, if from 5 to 10 is mild or soft sleep apnea, 10 to 15 is moderate sleep apnea, or more than 15 will be uh, severe or soft sleep apnea. There is a general measure for the treatment of sleep disorders, you know, that patients have chronic kidney disease, such as weight control, avoidance of alcohol cessation, <laughs> smoking, and the, the best one is continuous positive airway pressure in sleep apnea therapy improves the sleep related breathing disorders. Octave therapy, uh, uh, nocturnal, uh, increases the hypo uh, hypopnea and central apnea. Uh, Counseling and cognitive behavioral therapy improves the insomnia and adherence to sleep apnea therapy. Sleep medications such as non benzodiazepine sedatives, hypnotic agents uh, show better sleep efficiency and low side effects. Benzodiazepine, hypnotics, and antidepressants. And, and invest in sex and room. Agent or non dominant agent can be used, such as glycopantin <coughs> and opioids as oxyprene. Specific treatment measures in hemodialysis, various approaches have the potential to extemporize and disturb sleep, including nocturnal dialysis, lowering the dialysate temperature, administration of exogenous melatonin, administration of exogenous retropoietin, and bright light and intradiaretic exercise. Studies with these approaches in this stage of renal disease, although limited, have been successful in expressing the circadian the sleep with this in this population. Several studies show that uh, the nocturnal hemodialysis has an effect of changing from conventional to nocturnal. Uh, the prevalence of sleep disorders will be improved from switching from conventional daytime to nocturnal hemodialysis. Another study is that the conversion to nocturnal hemodialysis resulted in a decrease in daytime sleepness and improvement in sleep onset latency, or partially owing to improved control of uremia. With respect to the strength in the sleep weight risk, nocturnal hemodialysis some some disadvantages, example, anxiety, restricted positions, and alarm might have adverse effect on sleep during nocturnal dialysis. The sleep promoting effects of dialysis, as described earlier, coincide with the appropriate and conventional time of the day. Therefore, a switch to nocturnal dialysis could restore the normal temporal relationship between the sleep field and the other circadian risk and would likely result in an improved quality of both sleep and daytime function. The increased dialysis time of nocturnal dialysis leads to improved clearance of toxin, which might enhance the improvement of sleep. In addition, it is hypothesized that if the normal synchronization between sleep weight behavior and the circadian risk is restored, the endogenous melatonin concentration will exhibit its normal nocturnal surge. In melatonin, exogenous melatonin, randomized control for over study in 20 daytime hemodialysis patients found an increase in sleep onset latency, relief of sleep fragmentation, and restored melatonin resistance after administration of female melatonin at 10 p.m. every day. Lowering the dialysis. Temperature will also lead to uh, enhancing sleep as it will not disturb the prostaglandin production. Exogenous erythropoietin to correct the anemia will, in, will induce more sleep. Physical exercise also will increase the uh, sleep, the sleep uh, improve the sleep disorders. In summary, sleep complaints are disor are, uh, and disorders are common in patients with CKD, whether on the acid or not and characterized by difficulty in initiating and maintaining sleep, restless, drug complex, and daytime sleepness. The polysomnography is the gold standard for the diagnosis. Most common sleep disorders in CKD patients include a obstructive sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and periodic movement disorder. <laughs> sleep apnea is effectively treated by CPAP. Restless leg syndrome and, uh, and periodic uh, uh, more movement disorder, also very common and are associated to seeing this mortality in the impatient on the Thank you.